Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on introduction to R programming for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we are exploring SAS programming feature equivalents in R Tidyverse package. In this video, we will see how to handle duplicates. So there will be cases wherein we may have to remove duplicates based on certain key variables or sometimes we may have to record uh, remove the record if it's an entire duplicate which means if all the variables have same values on two or more records. So let's first see the case of uh, removing duplicates based on the key variables. So here I have an example data of adverse events so wherein the data is there for two subjects 1001 and 1002. The first subject has reported headache twice, uh, uh, once on the 5th January 2010 and the second time on 8th January 2010 and uh, nausea on 8th January 2010 and then second subject reported headache on 15th Feb 2010. So the requirement for me is to keep only one record per subject and per term and if there exists more than one such term and uh, within subject and term combination I want to keep the earliest record. So here I my output should look something like this say for example for subject 1001 headache occurred twice so and I want to keep only the first instance of it in my output data. So how do we do it in SAS? So we can make use of proc uh, sort no dupe key uh, option. So I am making sure that the when there exists more than one record within a subject and term combination I am making sure that uh, the record with the earliest record comes on top. So in using this proc sort. So uh, in the next proc sort step I am using this no dupe key option. So what this no dupe key option does is when there exists a more than one record with the uh, by group combination here I have said by subject and term which means it looks for the values like here 1001 and headache so if there exists more than one record in the combination of subject ID and term variable values it keeps the first record and removes the remaining records so that was our requirement so to keep the first record so in order to make sure that the first record corresponds to earliest start date I have used a pre-sort such that the record with 50 Jan here in this case comes on top and then followed by 8th Jan. So as Nodup key keeps only the first instance we should pre-sort this. So if we do not pre-sort and if by chance if 8th Jan record comes on top that record would be kept and the 5th Jan record would be dropped. So this pre-sorting is mandatory when there is this additional requirement that keep the record of uh, earliest instance or lowest instance of something uh, of that sort. And then we can make use of this Nodup key to remove duplicates based on uh, the values present in a specific set of variables. So how do we do it in R? So here again we have seen in the previous examples we have made use of this piping symbol wherein we were passing one data set uh, as an input to the next function and so on. So here we are creating a data set named nodup key by using a data set as input and then passing it on to the arrange function. So here again so like in the previous uh, case so we want to like how we have done in SAS we want to make sure that the record with the earliest start date within a subject and term comes on top so for that we are using arrange function so and then that resulting uh, arranged data set we are passing it into group by function because we want to keep one record per sub id and term so we are grouping the records that way so what will happen is uh, a group will be created for 1001 headache and the next group will be for 1001 nausea and the next group will be for 1002 headache and within the first group of 1001 uh, headache there will be two records so after that that group data set we are passing it into slice function so we have seen in the previous examples that slice function can be used to subset records based on their position so if you are grouping uh, the data set which is getting passed to slice function it uh, gives us the specified record within that group so here we are asking for the first record within each group of u sub id and term here so this is how we can make use of r uh, tidyverse package functions to replicate the syntax of removing duplicates based on uh, nodup key. 
So let us now see a second case wherein we want to remove the record if it's an entire duplicate. So here if we see for subject 1001 headache was reported but this was on two different dates 5th Jan 2010 and 8th Jan 2010. But whereas for subject 1002 headache it was reported twice uh, on the same day 15th Feb 2010 and 15th Feb 2010. So we want to remove this record which is an entire duplicate when all these three variables have equal values so i want to remove only those records even when the date is also the same which means all the variables present in the data set have same value so how would my output data set look like is like i have both the records of headache for 1001 because the start date is differing on these two records. So I do not want to consider or I, this record is not considered as an entire duplicate. So I want to keep that. But whereas for 1002, the, all the variables in the input data which we have has the same values. So I want to keep only one such instance if that is the case. So my output data set look should look something like this. How do we do this in SAS? So here we have a concept or option of node prec within proc sort. So what we do is we have to sort our uh, data set based on all the variables present in our input data set. So for that we have a keyword called underscore all underscore in SAS. So we are just making sure that we are sorting the data based on all the values present in the input data set and then applying node rec. So what this does is it removes a record or if all the values present on a particular record is same as the one which is present on the previous record. So that record gets deleted. So how do we replicate this in our tidyverse package? So we have a function called distinct. So all we need to do is apply that function on the input data set a1. So here the syntax can be interpreted as or read as so a data set is passed to the distinct function. a1 data set is passed to the distinct function. What this uh, function does is it checks for the unique values, uh, it checks for the combination of values of all variables and keeps only one instance of that. So it's very simple, so distinct without any arguments to it. So and when we are making sure that we are passing a1 to this that function. So this is how we can remove duplicate record based on key values or based on uh, whether the entire record is duplicate in terms of all the variables present in the input data set. <laughs> so let us now move to the demo. So let's have our R and SAS session side by side. So I am creating my two input data sets AE and AE1 here. So let's run these two input data sets first and then we'll first see the node up key based sorting. So wherein we wanted to keep one record per subject ID and TERP combination and if there exists more than one record we want to keep the first record. So let us try to run this piece of code and then try to open our node up key data set. So let us open this one. So here we have seen that there were two records for 1001 and in headache in AE data set. So we are making sure that the only the first instance is picked. So this was ensured by pre-sorting the data such that uh, record with lowest STDTC was on top. So let's now run the equivalent code here in R. So let me run till this step. So I'm creating AE, AE1 and then creating the node key. So let us now open the node key data set and then see if the output is equivalent to what we have got here in SAS. So it's the same one record is kept for a headache for subject 1001 out of the two instances. Let us now try to run the code for which removes the duplicate if the, all the variable values are same on two records. So let us try to close this. Let's run this step. I have run the code using F3 button on my keyboard. So let me open node rec data set and then see. So there were two instances of headache in our input data for 1002. So only now one instance is kept in the output data set. Let's see the input of AE1. So there were two records for 1002 for headache and, and they were reported on the same date. So we were interested in only keeping one record. So for that we made sure we make we made use of node up rec option on proc sort to get to the end result. So let us now run the piece of code which replicates that scenario in our R environment. So I am running this piece of code which 
actually should give me the same end result. So here again we have uh, there were two records for 1001, uh, 1002 headache in the input, but in the output we only have one record. So this is how we can replicate uh, or handle removing duplicates based on key values or based on the values present in all the variables of the input data set. Thank you for watching and keep learning.